Kevin, thank you very much. Plenty of spectators gathered at Timber Ridge this evening to see some local athletes reach new heights. As former winner X Gamers Luke and Adam Schraub hosted a big air exhibition. Fox 17, Steve Amaros was there to catch the action. Steve, was some fun out there or what? Ah, it is. It's nice out here. We're crowded here right now, Mike. It was the first day of a two-day event that saw 12 local athletes participating in the big air jump right here at Timber Ridge this evening. It was free to the public, and anybody who decided to show up got to see a pretty impressive show. put together by the two twin brothers from Wisconsin, Luke and Adam Schraub. Luke lives in Plainwell now and oversees the building and maintenance of Timber Ridge's terrain parks, which is where skiers and snowboarders perform stunts like these down a hill. They actually just created this site specifically for this event. It's on a flat plain, which makes it safe for the athletes who perform the jumps. You've seen these type of events at the Olympics and the Winter X Games, and everyone here agree this no longer is the future of the sport. It is now the present. Ten years ago, you couldn't have any jumps on a ski hill, let alone a terrain park, and for sure, let alone something like this. It's good practice for all the guys to get good, good air, and it's not, around here there's not a lot of big jumps, so this is good practice for them to like maybe go out west and hit jumps and hit competitions there. I uh, seem to have picked up a lot of friends. They'll be doing it all again tomorrow at 1 o'clock. It'll be a showdown between the skiers and the snowboarders. That, once again, will be free to the public. And coming up a little later on in sports, we've got video of one of the youngest athletes participating in this. Johnny Kazaki from Kalamazoo. He's just 10 years old, and he's doing these things. You are, you've are you got to see this. Guys, back to you. The contest in West Michigan has been booming in the last few years, and tonight, Warren Miller Productions hit the slopes at Timber Ridge to capture some of the big action on the slopes. Fox 17 Steve Amros is live at Timber Ridge. He has more on this unique event. Steve? Tara, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, Warren Miller Productions has been for a long time putting together annual films highlighting the winter sports of skiing and snowboarding. And for the twin brothers of Luke and Adam Schraub, this is actually going to be their fourth film that they will have been in. But today's Big Air Jump exhibition wasn't just about making movie magic. It was about having fun for everyone involved. Adam Schraub are living the life. The twin brothers are former national champions, winner X gamers, even movie stars, just doing what they love to do, something they were told not to do growing up. At our local ski hill when we were like, you know, 14, we'd get kicked off because of flips, flips back then. I mean, so we'd get kicked off and we'd start building, building a jump in the field so we could do that. And, always, and we had fun in the field always, so why not? Now they're giving back. Luke lives in Plainwell and oversees Timber Ridge's terrain parks, allowing local kids the opportunity to do what they've done, reaching new heights and finding new twists. It's kind of like we're passing the torch to them. We've been doing it for about 10 years in our own fields, but now these guys stepped right in here today and they're just having a blast. And they're passing the baton off to some pretty small hands, like Kalamazoo 10-year-old Johnny Kazaki, who's been working on his jump since he was six and is grateful for Luke's advice. Getting me confident and telling me what to do and speed checking. Feel like you're about ready to teach him something? Yep. Easy there, Johnny. The veterans may not get up as much as they used to, but they're not retired. It's kind of like Yoda, you know, 600 years old. He uses a cane, but he can still kick anyone's butt. Yeah, and the contraption they were using to get the skiers and snowboarders up to speeds of nearly 50 miles per hour getting into that jump, it was a motorcycle rope tow device. The brothers actually designed that themselves. They tried to get a patent for it, but they found out that a guy from Finland beat him to the punch in the 1980s for a Nordic ski jump. Whatever. Anyhow, they missed out on a chance at a patent, but they still got some big air today. Oh. 
That is going. I know. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.